G4, this is actually a threat. Many times in this kind of uh, vinover, uh, the move G4 actually comes with no threat at all. I can just leave my knight on the 5 But with the knight on E2, this important maneuver, then the rook on G1 is actually defended. So G4 becomes a very strong idea. Yeah, he's going to have to be very concrete because I really start to like white after the 4 And he's being contentious. Is the H pawn in fact hanging on H5? Well, Queen D3 is playable here. And the point being that after Bishop takes on H5, looking to win the pawn, well, it becomes a resounding sacrifice. Rook takes on H5, Knight takes, and still Queen F3 looking like a fork on the Knight and on F7. Not quite Knight F6, but this will check Queen to D7. And now Queen takes A6 with the threat of Bishop B5. And Black has no development at all on this side of the board, and that presents a real challenge to white in this position, to black in this position, and can develop, and bishop b5 is coming, and all right, well, it's obviously it's good for white here, all these connected pass pawns as well. So a sharp line is possible, although when he played queen f3, he must have noticed this move bishop to g4. We keep still bishop h5 is meant the same way, but the, the queen f3, an interesting impression. Of course, some unusual chess this round. It's the first time I've gotten to see him play chess live, and uh, he's... He's playing some quirky moves, as best I can say at the moment, but still in this game so far. We'll see how this game proceeds. Well, there's a couple of interesting variations already. If I can take a look at this move, d5, immediately for a one, this is obviously the first thing to think of, even though it looks very risky, to play the move d5 here. Uh, attacking, of course, the bishop upon with the c4. Uh, I'm sorry, the move d5. Uh, it seems that a lot of white's pieces are hanging because, of course, I'm going to be threatening to push my pawn to d4 very soon here. After I put the pawn on d5, uh, I think you actually do have to take on d5. I don't see any other resource in the position. Uh, the point is that after pawn takes d5, pawn takes d5, you have to move bishop b3. Uh, 